what's going on guys so I'm back um, yo so Otakon has been like one of the craziest conventions I've been to here on the East Coast right next to the Tidewater Comic Con uh, over in Virginia Beach but yeah right now I'm um, I'm in the apartment lobby of my dad's apartment building in, uh, here in Washington DC but yeah so anyway I've got a lot of stuff to show you uh, uh, so yeah here's this little goodie bag I got full of all the stuff that I I've been collecting from the convention, you know, from booths and shit like that. So yeah, um, I want to start off with, uh, let me just start off with a little uh, guidebook here. So yeah, first, first things first is the little guidebook uh, that they supply, that they supply guests with uh, um, to Otakon. It's um, yeah, it's got all the basic stuff, you know, like rules and guest, uh, guest uh, scheduling stuff like that, you know. It's nothing fancy. <laughs> they do have some. They do have some snarky little jokes in there. Like for example, if you read the guide on um, on autograph etiquette, it will it will legitimately say, "quote Don't tell the guest your life story," <laughs> which is like the best thing ever. So yeah, I love this guidebook, and the art on this thing is dope. And as a matter of fact, they use this art to promote um, Otakon to promote this convention out in downtown DC. They use flags and everything on the streets. So yeah, that was pretty nice. Um, another thing I want to show you is that I got my bo my copy of Persona 5. I, I got it signed by by Elizabeth Maxwell. It's I'm sorry that the writing's fading away. I'm going to try to keep, try my best to keep the writing good, uh, writing looking good, but yeah. And I also got it signed by Erica Harlacker. Yeah, let me just, uh, there we go, right there. So I got it signed by Erica Harlacker. So yeah, that, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, man. Um, it was nice that I got to meet them too. So yeah, shout out to you, Erica and Elizabeth, if for whatever reason you might be watching this. But yeah, awesome. Uh, here's some other goodies I got. I got this poster. I don't know what anime this is. I got it because it looked cool and it was free. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's some. It's called Eureka Seven. It's called Eureka Seven High Evolution. Let me try to pull back over here. But yeah. Oh yeah, sorry for any of the noise right now. I'm in the apartment um, apartment lounge uh, filming. But anyway, next we have next we have a little guidebook or whatever you want to call it. It's I, I want to say it's a guidebook. No, well it's also got merch in here too. But um, it's a little guidebook on how to be an otaku. <laughs> this is, which is awesome. <laughs> I didn't read the whole thing completely, but yeah, they also ha uh, they're also like promoting events happening in Japan as well. So I guess. Check it out if you're interested. Next is this map of Otakon. So what's really interesting about the convention is that it's right next, it's located right next to one of the metro stations, which leads to Mount Vernon. It's um, Mount Vernon place on the blue, I mean, I said blue, on the green and yellow line, which, um, and for me to get to Mount Vernon place, I would have to take the red line, uh, I would have to take the red line from Friendship Heights all the way to, you know, the green yellow line. So yeah, it's pretty nice that it's conveniently located right next to the metro station. Good on, I don't know how they constructed that, however many years ago that they constructed it, but yeah, that's, that's pretty fucking neat that they, it's conveniently located next to a metro station. Uh, let me see. I also have this little booklet that's promoting a convention called DerpyCon. DerpyCon is happening in, uh, let me get the, yeah, it's happening in Morristown, New Jersey. So if you happen to be in New Jersey or you happen to live in Morristown, uh, check it out. But yeah, DerpyCon, it's got all the stuff. They even have, they also have some guests there as well. Let me see if I can find the guest page. They got Richard Epcar or Epcar. I hope to God I'm saying that name right. They even have Keith Silverstein. They got, um, you know, they got Michelle Knotts. Uh, <laughs> They even have Charles Dunbar. So yeah, if you, like I said, if you happen to be living in New Jersey, or if you're in Morristown, then uh, stop on by, I guess. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Um, what other goodies do I get? I also, oh yeah, I also got this little card promoting them as well. Um, I got this little uh, Samurai Shampoo sticker celebrating the 15th anniversary. Also, um... They also had a few rappers that were there at a panel, um, you know, just spitting a freestyle uh, in honor of New Jabez, who was who worked on the soundtrack of Samurai Shampoo, and he died in a car accident. I forgot what year it was that he died, but yeah, the dude, yeah, <laughs> rest in peace, New Jabez. Uh, next, we have this little sticker. I mean, I said sticker for a little magnet I got for a um, convention 
ha I don't know what state it's happening in, but it's called Omtak. Here's this little pamphlet for this show on YouTube called Man at Arms. Man at Arms is a show where they um, where they forge weapons, whether they be fictional or real. They forge stuff like um, Sora's Keyblade from Kingdom Hearts, uh, Squall's Gunblade from uh, Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, what other weapons do they forge? I, it's been too long since I watched the show. I remember watching it when I was a freshman in high school with my anime club. <laughs> uh, let's see. I also have a little promotion, uh, promotional... Oh, this is where the con is happening. Omtech is happening in Nashville, Tennessee. So if you happen to be in Nashville, Tennessee, uh, stop on by, I guess, you know? <laughs> Let's see. Next, I also ha have another promotional for, um, for a convention called Zenkai Con. And um, the lady, when she gave me this little pamphlet, she told me that it was about um, tabletop games, you know, like, um, you know, card games, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, Cyberpunk, stuff like that. Um, I know uh, one, one person actually told me they were going there, and I think he mentioned Magic the Gathering being there. I can't confirm it myself. But yes, um, Zenkai Con is happening in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. So yeah, if you live in Pennsylvania or in Lancaster, show up there. Who knows? One more. I keep showing off all these promotionals and stuff. This is a promotional card for a convention called Setsukan, happening in Altoona, Pennsylvania. I've also, um, I've also noticed that a lot of the people in this convention were either from New Jersey, Pennsylvania, or New York. I, <laughs> so, and this is considered to be one of the biggest anime conventions here on the East Coast. I don't know what it is with all the people from from those three states coming here, but yeah, shout out to all y'all if you're coming from New York, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey, <laughs> and shout out to people here in D.C. As a matter of fact, lots of people flew, uh, not flew in, lots of people drove here from, um, drove to this place from Baltimore. So yeah. And that about does it for all the little pamphlets and stuff that I got. I also got these little buttons, too. I got a button of, uh, Edward Elric right here. And I have a lot of Final Fantasy VII buttons, but I'll get to those in a moment. I also have a uh, Laharl from Disgaea, one of the best tactical RPGs ever. It's to me, it's on level with Fire Emblem. It's that good. So if you're, uh, I, I please get Disgaea, okay? Next, um, here are my Final Fantasy VII buttons. I have uh, Zach Fair from uh, Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII, which definitely needs either a remaster or a remake of some sort because. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, Crisis Core is like one of the most, uh, well, it's not underrated per se, but it gets somewhat less attention than the other Final Fantasy side games. So, well, not, well, not saying it gets less attention is a bit of a stretch, but you know what I mean. Anyway, um, I got Vincent Valentine from Final Fantasy VII. And I have uh, Sephiroth right here. If the camera would focus, that'd be great. Well, yeah, that's Sephiroth. <laughs> So, yeah, that about does it for all the goodies I got from uh, Otakon. It was a really fun convention, man. I uh, <laughs> I had lots of fun. I met some new, I met lots of new people. I even made a few friends along the way while I was at, um, I was at the convention, too. So, if you're a friend of mine that happens to be watching this, shout out to you. Uh, it's nice that we got to meet up. Also, shout out to the bass player that was in, like, one of the hallways of... Uh, that was in one of the hallways of the convention center. That was pretty nice. The dude was taking song requests. He even had like this huge set list. He had um he had the soundtrack from Doom, which was at level A E one M one. You you all know how the song goes. They he was even playing cowboy bebop joints on it on his bass. So yeah, it, <laughs> it was pretty fun getting to watch him do a little jam session by himself. But yeah, that about oh yeah, one more thing I want to show off is this little badge I got too. That was pretty nice. So yeah. <laughs> um yeah, that about does it for all the stuff uh, for Otakon. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. T um, if you did go to Otakon, how was it? What did you guys think of it? And um, can you recommend me any more conventions here on the East Coast or, or you know, even on the West Coast? What other conventions can you recommend to me? I'm interested in hearing your comments. So yeah, that about does it for this video, and I will see you in the next one.